what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to draw the equivalent model of this circuit now first thing is we are going to calculate the r5 and the transconductance all the values so let's go ahead and do that here you can see the circuit is ending right here and starting here so it means the emitter current of the first one is going to be the equivalent to collector current of the second one so we can say ie1 is equal to ic2 and also emitter current of the first one is going to be equivalent to emitter current of the second one and also collector current of the first one also going to be equivalent to collector current of the second one and here vbe can be replaced with vt times ln of ic over is this is the generic formula and uh, i forgot to write some values there are three values already provided in the question beta is equal to 100 and is is equal to is is equal to 6 times 10 to the power of minus 16 ampere and also we have these are the two information that is necessary now let's go ahead and continue <clears throat> and va is equal to infinity okay let's go ahead and continue first we are going to calculate what is the IC current is. To calculate IC current, this is the formula we can use. VCC minus IB1. I am applying for the first one. IB1 is times beta, actually RB, that is this one, 100 kilo ohm, 100 times 10 to the power of 3. And uh, that is equivalent to 2 VBE1 okay 2 vbe1 and uh, vcc is equal to 2.5 and instead of ib we can replace it with ic uh, ic over beta so ic1 over beta times 100 times 10 to the power of 3 instead of vbe we can replace that one with vt ln of ic over is vt ln of ic over is so let's go ahead and continue 2.5 minus ic1 over beta is 100 times 100 times 10 to the power of 3 equal to vt is 26 times 10 to the power of minus 3 round of ic1 over is is 6 times 10 to the power of minus 16 here if we solve for IC1 that is also equal to IC2 that is equivalent to 1.035 ampere and this is the current now the next thing is we are going to find out uh, GM transconductance GM1 is equal to GM2 that is equivalent to IC2 over VT IC2 is 1.035 35 milliampere divided by VT that is 26 millivoltage that's equal to 39.77 millisiemons and R51 can be calculated using this formula R51 is equal to that's also equal to R52 that's equivalent to beta divided by gm2 now beta is 100 gm2 we just calculated that is 39.77 and if you calculate this one you will get 2.515 2.515 kilo ohm okay this is the resistance we have and uh, now let's go ahead and draw the equivalent model circuit <coughs> oh shit okay let me redo this one undo undo okay let's continue a 
let me bring this one again okay here we go let's draw the equivalent model of this uh, kit okay the top part will be like this and the bottom part q2 part will be like this And this one connected to the ground. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. This one connected to the ground. And uh, this one also connected to the ground. And this 100k ohm resistor will be right here. This is 100k ohm resistor. And uh, here we have 1k ohm resistor, but here we will have a re another resistor that's R5 one this resistor is r51 and the voltage across this one is v51 and uh, here we will have a current source dependent current source that is downward that is gm1 v51 and this 1k ohm resistor will be right here one k ohm resistor and this one connected to the ground now let's go to the q2 part q2 part here we will have r52 and here we will have the dependent current source r52 and voltage across r52 is v52 and uh, here we will have a dependent current source that's also downward and this one is gm2 v52 and that's it this is the equivalent model of this circuit and that's how we do that. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn electronics, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.